gosh, Drew. Where, where are we going? Ten? You can't do ten. I always beat you, and I, I'm really good at no, this. I grew up playing this game. Wow! So do you guys actually like? Yeah. So you have your own. Uh, we have a, a family cabin, and this is what we do for. Fun. Go go low really? level. <laughs> go down. Yeah. Low level. Oh my God! This you level. you go low <laughs> low. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. you, you should go medium. Oh uh, uh, why? Because you're not gonna be able to. This is the old one. Remember, right? Uh, no, you oh yeah, who's the who's the uh, who's the expert in gaming here? Uh, uh, we are both not. <laughs> <laughs> why? But you guys no, have this like eight bit is like our thing. Yeah. yeah. Although, eight bit and two D is. Like, oh, what's happening? You're switching it. No, I'm not. No, you just touched it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Let's start. What? Okay, I hit start. <laughs> Dr. Bird. Here we go. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you oh, have the God, switch, Drew? Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, oh, that's why, because I'm on the other side. Yeah. Oh, you want to switch? Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Man, you guys are like pros at this. No, so. we are actually really good at this. Okay. So this oh, is no! Are you <laughs> are you oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, it gets me angry. So it seems like uh, nicknames growing up. What were you guys' nicknames? My nickname was Drew Poo, because my name is. Drew Poo? Yeah. Oh. Because my that's name sad. rhymed with poo, and so when you're a kid, it's like, that's a, that's a giveaway. That's a sad... <laughs> no. No. I didn't mind, it made it sense. Mind. Yeah, <laughs> it just rhymed. Okay. Oh man, I'm that's, really that's not it. doing good. How, how would you no, know, what was, just, what was your nickname? Finicky, man. My nickname, I didn't really have a nickname, but on this tour I actually attained a nick, acquired a nickname. What was it? Um... Marty? Marty? <laughs> Marty? How did you get that? Where, no, where no, no, what was it? What was it? It was... Marty? What was it? No, it was the other day. Remember the guys were calling me something really random. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's all. Oh no! Oh. Well, let's take take us back to the beginning while you're playing. So, of course, you guys met in the city of Red Deer, correct? We, we met in actually a friend of mine went to school with Drew. Yep. And she's like, I think you'd really like this guy, but only just friends kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I. This is before the internet. This is before. Like the Bumble and. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, way this before. This is just straight through like, friends. Way, yeah. way before! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. And then after oh, that, sh what was your... I won. Um, so best out of three. No, 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 no. I'm just... Uh, now, I'm, now I need to focus a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just won't even ask questions. I'll just like sit back. And yeah, this is just us playing video games. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Enjoy the interview. Have fun. Okay, um, after this. No, but actually this... No. <sighs> It's not that frustrating of a story, Danielle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, guess, I get really angry when things happen on this controller that I didn't tell to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These controllers are bought in China, so don't worry about it. Yeah, a little cheap, cheap yeah, controller. Yeah, we kind of we kind of always knew each other were around, but I was from Vancouver, she was yeah. from Red Deer, and, and anytime I'd be passing through, my band came and played out here, and she saw the show, and we I liked were, his band a lot. I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. But did you like, like him? I actually didn't like him that much, to be honest. I thought he was really like cocky. You didn't like her? No. Well, I liked her. Like, He's as like, a friend. how I, is that even possible? No, I like, uh, I like, uh, I liked, uh, I, I liked another girl at, at the time. And he oh. talked about her nonstop. And then, yeah, and so that's why Danielle didn't like me, because oh. I was talking about this other girl yeah. from Vancouver. Okay. Who was and not a good girl, by the way. Who was it? Well, what's she's her name? A, she's a temptress. <laughs> Don't tell her name. She was a temptress. A temptress? That's what well, Drew says, because she had a boyfriend and she's trying to, like, seduce yeah, that's him. Not 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 Cool. Not cool. Not, Not cool, cool, girl. I was young and I learned. But then, anyways, Danny and I, we always definitely had a connection. And so eventually, we, you know, we were staying in touch. And then one time, she, her band was playing up in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I saw her. It was around um, Easter time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should make a song out of this. Like, what, what's the yeah. copyright? Everyone's like the end of Dear Rouge. <laughs> covering, <laughs> covering Dr. Murray. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Killing our band. <laughs> so after that, though, did it take a while for you guys to like? No, but then so she was there, and then we we hung out, and I was like, wow, because we knew each other for a long time. Okay. And then we were like five years, and I was like, wow, our connection is is different. Like I've, yeah, we had I've hung out with enough people where I'm like, wow, this is a unique girl. This is this is an Aww, amazing situation. Oh, that's sweet, so, Drew. Like, and we we that, start hey. we like kind of had that trip, and we're like, man, we don't want to say goodbye anymore because we always say goodbye because of the long distance. Yeah. We drove halfway between Alberta and BC. What is halfway between right there and Vancouver? Just, just past Revelstoke. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it was in such a beautiful place. If you've never been there, you need yeah, to go. Yeah. It's like, it's so beautiful. Wow. But we were just in Banff with you guys and Banff is next level too. Yeah. I, love, so I love that you're doing an interview because my face is going to be like, 
People have really funny faces when they play video games. We're just gonna I'm actually thinking about it right yeah. now, so that, that's probably why I'm not playing as good as normal. You know what? The Because usually it's like. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to focus on your faces. I think the game's not even. The <laughs> sad thing is, I'm focusing more on the interview than my gaming, but my face still looks horrible. <laughs> so, have to figure that one out. How about, the, how, how about the, when did marriage come into play then? Like, when did that happen? Um, well, honestly, because we knew each other for a long time, right away we, we knew that we, we felt like we would get married right yeah. away. Okay. And it was kind of like. Look at how bad you just had to. Oh, I thought you were okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I lost. But how to provoke? But I won. Oh, you did. <laughs> you won her. We got married uh, like a year after we were dating, and yeah. I moved to Vancouver, and then we started the band when we were dating. Was that a rom romantic proposal? Or was it, it was. It was. Back it? In back to Revelstoke. Revelstoke. Back in Revelstoke. On Isn't our way out here clever? for Thanksgiving, because yeah. we, if oh. anyone does the drive, you can think about us because we do the drive yeah. all the time, all the time to come out here to Red Deer to visit her folks. You know, we just booked Christmas tickets to come back here. Oh, wow. Any major holiday, you know, dear. We're here a lot, back actually. In the hometown. Yeah. So, what is the difference um, back when you grew up in Yale to now? Well, how Red Deer is well, it's always cool. Red Deer is way, way cooler now. Is it way cooler now? Yeah. yeah. Well, you look know at why? It's it's cooler now because they're actually cultivating. Like there's, you guys are here, and there's actually like a scene happening now with music here, that which there wasn't that. when I grew up, and it was it was really sad. Like nothing really cool was happening in this town, and you had to go to like Calgary, Calgary or, Edmonton. or Edmonton to see All any good any good show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, any good show. Like there was nothing here, uh -huh. and yeah, I think sometimes in small towns you you, you get like weird thinking. Yeah. And there's not like an openness to other cultures and stuff, and I think that's changing a little bit here too. It's just smaller, yeah. you know, and less, yeah, yeah. less diverse. It's less comfortable for people. To, yeah, it's less diverse. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not a knock on right here. That's just like sometimes small town thinking. And I think like now that's it feels like that's changing a little more. Yeah, there's a lot good. of a lot of cool unique stuff in Red Deer. Yeah, like you know, more, more unique shops too. and more unique like mm. artisan type things happening. And what about Vancouver? Because Vancouver is, I I love Vancouver because yeah. it's such a beautiful city. Because that's what you guys are. Vancouver is beautiful. Oh. And it, it's so great. I think we just recently moved to New York for a year. And yeah. when we came amazing. back to Vancouver after New York, it was really difficult for us because New York is crazy exciting. Best Every city in the single world. person it's we the met city in the world. was amazing. Um, when we were writing music, it was more challenging because everybody's in cool bands and yeah. we met so many great people, so many people that helped us out with our new album. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just were, were addicted to New York and so we're kind of kind of in this little random place where we're not sure where we're going to go next. What's in the middle of New York and Vancouver now? Well, <laughs> we're oh, yeah, the middle. Good call. But then we travel all the time, so we're like, maybe we go, um, we're, we're maybe thinking about moving out into a small uh, town. A small right. town. We might. Out, just like an get... hour out of Vancouver and a little bit more chill. Is it because we'll be by the city, yeah. so we'll still be by Vancouver. It's not like you guys are outpriced, you know. Priced no, outpriced no, no, no. It's no. just it's it's that we, we oh, as true. a band, we are playing a in cities things, yeah. all the time. So oh. when we go home, yeah. it's true. kind of yeah. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so that's the thing. What is the best uh, advice that you can give as a, a couple to other couples? A couple. Yeah. A couple of like couple oh, musicians. Wow. Or a couple of musicians, or a couple, oh, couple, couple or couple. Couple. music oh. advice, but married yeah, advice. Yeah, music advice and music, and yeah, both. Well, oh, yeah, so music advice, this sounds so cliche, but mm. I thought about it or have like talked to people about this, yeah. is you do music because you love it. You get paid to do music if you're lucky. And there's a, so many great musicians, mm -hmm. great bands, great people out there who are making good music, but don't get to do it for a career. Yeah. If you get to do it for a career, just be blessed and enjoy that. But never quit music because of the money. You do music because you love it. Uh -huh. Whether we are able to do it as a career or not, Danny and I will always make music together because we love it. And 
we, as soon as we started doing that, that's when we got freed up to do the That's when stuff started happening for us, yeah. actually. Cause, sincere. Yeah, because we had an organic love for what we were doing, and it was just fun, and I think people could read that. I think music's one of those things that you can't pretend, and it's just like almost impossible to get by without like knowing exactly what you are. Yeah. yeah. And what the advice as a couple? Uh, as, relationship a couple as a couple, I would just say that you have to persist. In yeah. our culture, you have to be diligent and you have to you have to be honest yeah. yeah you have to actually give it a go um, there's so many ways in marriage where you can just cop out if you want and now it's totally normal to do that so hmm. if, if right from the beginning of both of you are committed then go you only through get it. the payoff if yeah. you work hard for it right yeah, That's yeah. Like and if you if you switch to a, another relationship you know, it probably will be, you'll end up in the exact same place as your first one was. Yeah. Because we're people, we're human beings. Well, we, maybe, maybe you won't, maybe but, but at the same <laughs> <laughs> But at the same time, though, I think it's true. Like, eventually you're going to have an argument. Eventually you're going to have struggles, and you got to just know that. That person. must be tough, though, with, like, because you guys work together, and you guys are... We we love hanging out with each other. Yeah. We love playing dark. We actually <laughs> <laughs> we actually have not had any serious like we've been really lucky so far. Drew and I we yeah. haven't had any serious times where we were like, is this working? Like Ex that real conversation? Yeah. Like, are we actually well and we good for each other? We've always just knew just we were. Married. Right. And our journey has been so random because right when we get married, we start a band, quit our jobs, mm -hmm. and go on tour. It's just kind of been really exciting. That's also really important about any relationship you're in is keeping Doing it exciting. Love, yeah. Keep growing, keep changing, keep yeah. evolving. That's good. Mm -hmm. Imagine That's if you're married to someone and ten years down the road they're like still playing Doctor Mario. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> All right, I'm throwing her off. This is good. This, uh, this interview is helping me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Complete the uh, sentence here. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Like. The end of the day. The day um. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Be exactly what you are because there's not anyone like you, and that's what the world needs. Wow. Okay. No, yeah. That's your, this is your Dr. Mario song. These are the yeah. lyrics to the. <laughs> I was thinking at the end of the literal day. <laughs> at the end of the literal day. Yeah, it's like at the end of the literal day, it's just go, go to bed. <laughs> That's so it. practical. <laughs> no, I was that actually thinking that, you. which is funny. That it's is because funny. I'm, and with I'm, this, that's it. Woo! Oh. <laughs>